The next technique that's used inside of the HMT is one to mitigate fifth and seventh harmonics in an electrical power system. This is called phase shifting. Phase shifting describes the nature of what occurs when you have two similar waves. When waves are in phase with each other, that means a zero degree shift, they have a tendency to be additive. When these waves are out of phase with each other or 180 degrees separated, they have a tendency to cancel each other out. We use this technique in the HMT to mitigate fifth and seventh harmonics on a system-wide basis. Now again, let's look at a standard delta Y transformer and see how standard nonlinear load interacts with it. Fifth and seventh harmonic we were able to see on the primary and the secondary of the transformer. A standard delta Y transformer has an inherent 30 degree shift from primary to secondary. We can see that shift if you look at the 60 hertz black line on the primary and then on the secondary and you will see a, a vectorial 30 degree shift minus. What's interesting to note of course is what occurs when you use standard delta Y transformers throughout an entire facility. When adding nonlinear load to these transformers, we're able to see that they generate lots of thirds, fifth, and seventh, as we've seen that the triplins get caught inside of the transformer with the fifth and seventh leaving the transformer. What's interesting to note, of course, is to see what occurs on the primary side of those transformers. On the individual phases, the phase A's of each of these different legs, we're able to see that the fifth and seventh have a tendency to be additive on the individual phases. So the phase A of one branch, the phase A of another branch, fifth and seventh are in phase with each other, are then additive from each of the sub panels. So we're able to see a large fifth and seventh component on the switch gear on the main service. And again, that would be n times the number of sub panels that you have. When looking at what occurs when you add that same type of load to HMTs, we're able to see quite clearly what's going to occur. We have two main types of HMTs that are in use in the standard commercial office, school, medical, casino type of environments. We, that is known as the HMT-30, the THR, and the HMT-9, the NON. The HMT-30 has a 30 degree shift similar to the standard Delta Y. The HMT-9 has a zero degree shift. It's these difference in shifts that allow the harmonic currents to be canceled. We're able to see this when we look at what occurs on a whole building. By alternating the non and the 30 throughout the system, we're able to see what kind of impact we have on the primary sides of these transformers. Fifth and seventh from each different branch now will be opposing each other. The fifth from the 30 and the fifth from the non vectorially 180 degrees out of phase with each other, therefore canceling. We're able to see the same effect occur with seventh harmonic also. What this leaves us on the primary is a nice clean fundamental 60 hertz current. Often I get asked after this presentation, I can see how the 5th and 7th cancel each other out, but what if my power system is not balanced or not equal with each other? And that's a very good question because we all know that trying to balance power systems is pretty close to impossible. Say for example we had a three-story building. And again, what I'm going to try and do here is set up a scenario where we can't evenly balance the transformers against each other. Say for example the occupant on the penthouse is producing a lot of harmonics. He has a lot of nonlinear load. Say he's producing five units of distortion. That will come back to the main riser. The guy in the middle floor is only producing four units and the guy in the bottom floor, he doesn't have much electronics. He's only producing three units of distortion. Typically with standard delta Y transformers, the fifth and seventh harmonic currents from each of these sub panels will then be additive. So we have five plus four plus three equals to 12 units of distortion on the main. Now say for an example that we're able to change one of the transformers within this building. Not all three, just one. We're first going to look at what happens if we change, say, the weakest floor, the one producing three units of distortion. By introducing the HMT-9 in this environment, we're now going to introduce quote-unquote anti-harmonics, negative harmonics, because they'll be phase shifted against each other. Let's understand a little bit of the balance. Here we're going to phase shift three units versus four plus five, so that's nine units. That's a three to one imbalance between currents. Let's see if the addition of the HMT-9 just on the weakest floor has any impact on the overall reduction of harmonic currents. So we add five plus four, which comes from the standard delta Y transformer, but now we're going to minus the three units coming from the bottom floor because they're 180 degrees out of phase with each other. So we have five plus four minus three is a total of six units. By just changing the one transformer, even in an ugly three to one imbalance, we're able to have the amount of harmonic current in this scenario. And of course, being an engineer, I can't leave well enough alone. So if we were going to do this for real, I would probably suggest that we would change the 
floor producing the five units of distortion. That way we'd have a much closer balance. I'd have seven units, four plus three, of standard delta Y current. I would have five units of shifted current. And of course that is seven minus five. We now see a sum of two units of distortion once we were to change the one transformer. So you can see that by better balancing the system, we have a much greater reduction in current. But even in an ugly three to one imbalance, we're able to have the amount of harmonic currents. So it's very hard to misapply an HMT and not have a huge reduction in the amount of distortion. There are better ways to go about it. And we have application engineers that would be glad to help you in your own personal designs. To summarize our treatment of fifth and seventh harmonics, we see that fifth and seventh harmonics just flow right through a transformer. Therefore, we can't necessarily redirect them as we could with the triplet harmonics, but we can alter them as they flow through, and that occurs with the phase shift. What we will do is use fifth and seventh harmonic from one area to treat fifth and seventh harmonic in another area. Since this is already existing energy in the building, there's no additional energy or money needed as in active filtering. Active filtering consumes additional current to create antiharmonics, what we're doing through the magnetics of the transformer is phase shifting those currents to treat currents in other areas. It's already existing energy in the system. Because our ultimate goal is to have a phase shift between the types of transformers, we can now introduce the non, the zero degree, in combination with existing standard delta Y transformers to achieve harmonic cancellation. What this means is that you can use HMTs in a retrofit or an expansion project and still have a great deal of impact on the harmonic distortion in your building.